Genevieve. Um, I am 28. I stay in Deep River and I teach pole dancing and I'm a burlesque performer and makeup artist as well. <laughs> I would describe it as, well, I suppose with, with pole it's very different, it's um, much more about strength and, and acrobatic ability but with burlesque it's very much about celebrating the female form and showing that off through the revealing of certain aspects of your body but hiding the I suppose the most uh, uh, risque part yeah I, I really enjoy that aspect of performing on stage where the audience only gets what I'm willing to give I think it's because I um, I think with with it's in general with women um, the female body almost seems like it's kind of claimed by society you know like it's it's something that's a very public thing um, in that it's it's criticized it's commented on it's constantly a part of like a public domain and being on stage and claiming back what I what I show and how I show it I suppose just makes me feel better about myself and more in control of people's opinions of me <laughs> I would I would say I feel sexy when I perform I think um, you know being the awkward freckly ginger girl at school was quite a, a negative experience for me. Yes, I am still pale and freckly and I love it now, but um, you know, I think when we're younger, we, what makes us unique um, makes, makes us uncomfortable a lot of the time, which I, I think is incredibly sad because some of us, as we get older, discover that that's actually what makes us um, incredible, but we spent so long um, at a teenage, you know, sort of time in our lives hating it um, instead of embracing it and like you know realizing that that's yeah part of who we are and it can be wonderful instead of something that we we hate <laughs> when I opened my studio my pole dancing studio I had that this is mine sort of feeling and I get it regularly when I walk into classes and see my see my you know the girls that come to classes dancing and enjoying the space and feeling comfortable in their own skin that's probably the happiest when I'm not other than when I'm performing the most rewarding moment has been with one of my students who's been with me for a year who actually when she started was like she doesn't think she, she doesn't think it's her thing at all she came for one trial class was not particularly interested in it all like not not someone that would describe herself as feminine or sexy or you know any of those things and she now comes probably four days a week generally and um twirls around upside down on the pole like a crazy thing and absolutely loves it and to watch her just come out of her shell slowly but surely you know that i think that's been the most rewarding I think the greatest lesson probably would be um, not to waste so much time worrying about other people before you get on with what you know is right for you to do. Mm -hmm.